What's up, Fish Whispers? Welcome back. Thanks for joining me. Um, today, I want to talk uh, clear water, um, early summer patterns for uh, deep highland reservoirs. Um, that is the type of fishery that is mostly around me, so that's the one I fish most. So, um, if I'm going to offer any tips, um, definitely going to be clear water highland reservoir tips. Um, however, I do get down to the south and I do bang them down there, so we'll do some uh, chocolate milk videos as well. Um, but yeah, today, clear water, summer, early patterns. Let's go. Whew. Uh, one of the first things to note when uh, we're talking an early summer pattern along a clear water highland reservoir is we're going to use more of a finesse bait, um, more natural colors, um, and most likely you're going to be fishing around a shad spawn. Now with the shad spawn, um, it can vary, but typically um, in the deep clear water reservoirs like Lock Raven, they will spawn in pretty deep open water that is near cover. Um, cover being deep, long hydrilla, an underwater tree, um, boulders, things of that nature, um, that is also near deep structure. And as such, that is also most likely where many of the bass who are transitioning to the summer, to their deep water hangouts, uh, this essentially being one of them, you will find, uh, you should be able to find some bass. Um, and that's something to note at this time in June is that um, natural pretty much means shad pattern, whatever shad you have in your lake. So you will also want to match the size if you can get a good look at one of the bait balls. Um, try and see um, just, you know, how how big those shad are. They tend to be smaller and, and Lock Raven, I find. So, as such, I small bit of a, uh, throw a bit of a smaller bait. But the important thing is match the hatch, right? That's the um, basic concept here. But it's shad spawn in, it was bluegill spawn a little earlier, it's shad spawn now. Remember that, it's important. Now the first bait I wanna talk about is a uh, bladed swim jig called a Hyperlastic Dart Spin. I'm really falling in love with this bait. It's got like a real ghosty color. It's basically clear with a little blue speck. Um, has this little dangly tail. Looks great on the fall. Wobble, 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 wobble. Looks great on the ripping, ripping, uh, relax. Um, and it's stuck some uh, really nice fish for me in the few weeks that I've had it. Came in the mystery tackle box. Um, so, you know, I can confirm for a fact that that service does not um, send things that don't work. There might be a few things in the box that don't work for your waters, but, um, they send good stuff. And um, another version of the bladed jig is this swim jig here. This is a VMC. Um, I believe this is a four rod size bladed swim jig. Um, you just screw your bait in there. You can use a, a fluke or Kai textile paddle tail. But most of the time right now, until proven otherwise, I'm gonna first tie and throw up this one. And I'm gonna do that on a swim jig head, either a smaller 3 16 quarter ounce, or a um, 3 8 half ounce um, jig head.
up this thing. Just real quickly about the location of this first pass. Um, I uh, stuck it along a uh, a uh, a ledge, uh, not a true bluff wall, as you can see in the map. Uh, Hell yeah! Finally, got myself a big. Now in this next clip, uh, this is a more traditional. Clear water summer pattern, um, working a the deep end of a point, um, about twenty five foot of water to thirty foot of water. Um, it's a bit early in the morning, so I'm using the sun to my advantage. I'm casting into the sunlight as I work up the edge of the deep offshore point. Because I know there's hydrilla, and I know there's shad, because I see the bait balls. Um, so my assumption here is that the um, bass are going to be staged up on the just inside of that hydrilla as uh, bait fish um, move up along the point, and they're going to smack it because they're in the shadows, weren't using the sun to their advantage. Another great swim bait you can use. Um, and you can rig up a couple different ways, either with the bladed swim jig, um, regular uh, swim jig heads, or uh, even um, non bladed weedless swim jigs. Um, swing jigs, maybe? Is that what they're called? I forget. Correct me in the comments. And also, don't forget to like and subscribe if you're enjoying this video. Um, really could use the support. Really could uh, appreciate the feedback so uh, I know what to create, what to offer tips on, etc. etc. Um, but non bladed swim jigs, uh, paddle tails, kite textile. I use BioSpawn, I really like them. It's just a little more economical for me and um, they hold up well and work very well. Um, you can go multiple sizes. This is the um, 4.75 um, pearl white. I actually have a Guggenbaits uh, Saucy Swimmer, um, which has hooked some really nice pickerel um, so far. And uh, also have the uh, Electric Shad, which I really like, which has um, hooked some nice bass as well. Um, and once again, you know, this is very simple. You just put them on whichever um, swim jig head you like. Um, 
in these examples, I'm working the outside of the grass. It's not too thick on the outside. It's still pretty deep. Um, probably about 15 feet of water where I'm casting into. Um, not for the pickerel, but for the bass. Um, so I'm using a heavier jig head.
있네요. following up on the uh, clear water summer patterns we're back to a point now this is a smaller point a little much less established than the one i showed you before but it is a um, one of the first points in this creek arm um, leading out to the uh, main lake channel Um, so it was worth checking out and, uh, just kind of slow rolling the swim bait, um, on the jig head, um, the paddle tail, um, just working that slowly, giving it a little, um, jerk here and there, very soft, like boom, boom, real, real, real slow, boom, boom, and just initiate a nice reaction strike. And, uh, that again is another solid way. Um, as you're entering into, uh, summer to, um, get these fish with, uh, clear water. start. A little two pounder. Definitely, if you try any of these, let me know how it goes. I want to see pictures. Send me a link to the pictures. Send me a link to the video. I want to see how these also work on other clear water to see if, you know, it is helpful or not. <laughs> anyway, thanks again for watching. All you fish whispers out there. We're going to get back out on the water soon. I'm very excited. We're going to try this bad boy again. Might even throw this bad boy out. Who knows? It's pre-rigged. Makes it easy. Anyway, have a great time out on the water. Tight lines. And we'll catch you next time. Peace.